like the myogenic reflex, the tubular glomerular feedback system influences renal plasma flow by regulating afferent arterial resistance. However, instead of responding to changes in blood pressure within the afferent arterial, specialized cells within the thick ascending limb called macula densa cells respond to changes in sodium chloride delivery, which are translated into a cascade of chemical signals that regulate afferent arterial resistance. Now in previous lessons, we learned that the filtered load of sodium chloride increases linearly as GFR increases, which means delivery of sodium chloride to the macula densa cells also increases. When this happens, the macula densa cells signal the afferent arterioles, which leads to vasoconstriction of the afferent arterioles. This vasoconstriction results in a reduction of the glomerular filtration rate and a corresponding reduction in sodium chloride delivery to the macula densa cells. So how does an increase in luminal sodium chloride result in vasoconstriction of the afferent arteriole? Well, to start with, sodium and chloride ions are constantly being transported from the ultrafiltrate into the macula densa cells via the NKCC2 co-transporter along with potassium. Now, when the concentration of sodium chloride increases in the ultrafiltrate, as in the case of increased GFR, intracellular sodium chloride increases also due to the continual transport of sodium chloride by the NKCC2 co-transporter. Now this increase in intracellular sodium chloride triggers the release of ATP or adenosine triphosphate along the basolateral membrane via panexin channels. Now once ATP leaves the cell, it is quickly converted to AMP or adenosine monophosphate and then adenosine. Now adenosine then binds the adenosine A1 receptor located on the extra glomerular mesangial cells. This in turn activates small g proteins. Activation of the small GI protein leads to the inhibition of adenylate cyclase, while the activation of the small GO protein leads to an increase in intracellular calcium. Now calcium quickly spreads to neighboring extraglomerular mesangial cells, smooth muscle cells, and granular cells via gap junctions, as you see here. The rise in intracellular calcium within the smooth muscle cells causes the myofilaments to contract. Now the rise in intracellular calcium within the granular cells inhibits the release of renin-containing vesicles. Now renin is an enzyme that plays a role in systemic vasoconstriction and sodium reabsorption. We'll talk more about renin later.